What's good, YouTube? My name is Kari, and welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see by the title, I'm gonna be showing y'all my recent pickups. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't made one of these videos since the beginning of summer, so it's been a hot minute since I showed y'all what I've been picking up. But now I can show it off to y'all in this video so y'all can see what I've been rocking, what I've been liking, and yeah, since that's out the way, let's actually get into these pickups. All right, we're gonna start off with some heat. Even though all my pickups are fire, but first we're gonna talk about this CDG jacket I did pick up. I wanna give a shout out to my boy Josh cause I did buy this off of him and he did give me a crazy steal. Like if y'all knew how much I paid for this, y'all be upset. I love this jacket cause it's a really unique design and the way that it's designed gives it a really unique cropping and fitting. But I'm not gonna lie, I do have a bone to pick with this jacket for the simple fact it don't fit me. Like it's just a little bit too small for me and it hurts my heart cause I wanna rock this so bad. But don't ever get it messed up, I'm still gonna pull off a fit with this. All right, my next pickup is this black shirt from Straight to Hell. Now this is just a regular black button up shirt but I do love the material that they did use because it gives it a see-through effect. And I also like the strings that they added because it gave it a unique look to it. And it gives you an opportunity to change up the outfit and make it into a tie if you would like. I'm not gonna lie. I was not aware of this brand until like a month ago when I saw an Instagram ad of this girl wearing this shirt. And when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. All right, I also picked up this black tattoo t-shirt from Scream Studios. And this shirt is crazy. I really like the graphics that they use throughout this shirt. It really gives it a nice dark and gothic theme and I love it. I don't have too much to say about this shirt, just a regular black tattoo tee. Next, we have this jacket or cardigan, I'm not really sure what you would call it, that I picked up from the thrift store. I really like this jacket because of the sizing. Like this jacket fits perfect on me. I also like that it's really subtle, but it pops all at the same time. You can dress this jacket up, you can dress it down. It really doesn't matter because it can either add a nice elegant effect to your outfit or a nice subtle effect to your outfit. It just really depends on how, what you put together with it. I also picked up this sweater vest from the same thrift store. Now this is just a regular black and white sweater vest, but I will say I like the pattern that they did choose for it. Now I think something like this is essential in your closet because it's nice and simple and it matches with everything and you can dress it up and you can dress it down as well. And it's very versatile so you can put a lot of different looks together with it. All right, those are some thrift pickups. Now back to the designer pickups. This next piece I'm about to show y'all is probably my favorite pickup. We have the 101 flare pants designed by yours truly and designed by Jordan Seipel. And yes, I am calling something I designed and my friend made designer because it is. These are a really nice pair of flare pants with a subtle hit of white stitching going down the leg of the pant. And the more you wear the pant, the bottom of it actually starts to fray and gives it a cool effect. Now, I obviously really like these pants because I designed them, but even if I didn't design them, I still would think these are a solid pair of flare pants. All right, sticking with the designer theme, we have another one of one piece, and it is this trench coat I got from Splitty Costa. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely in my top three favorite pickups. This jacket is so crazy. Like I have never seen something like this before. The detailing is insane on this jacket. I'm not gonna lie, I've been scared to pull this jacket out because I think I haven't put together a fit that I deem is worthy of this jacket. Like this is how much I love this jacket. Like this is a statement piece. When I'm pulling this out, I gotta come correct. All right, next we have these historic glamour pants. Now you cannot look at these pants and say they aren't crazy. Just look at them. Everything about them, especially the corduroy throughout the pants, I love it. It brings out the pants and it makes them pop. And it was just a great extra detail to them. 
I'm not gonna lie, even though I just picked these pants up, they are becoming one of my favorite pants because of the detailing and the fit. These pants fit me perfect. All right, let's move away from designer and go back to the thrift pickups, cause I'm not gonna lie. Yo boy is balling on a budget and just don't got that money to be cashing out on nothing but designer. So we gotta get drippy at the thrift. And my next pickup is this green Cleveland State varsity jacket. Now when it comes to varsity jackets, I think varsity jackets are a staple in your wardrobe. And I feel like everyone should have one because they go with everything and they're so versatile. I really like the coloring of this jacket because it's green and white so it's really easy to match with and you can do a lot of things and put different fits together and i love the fitting on this jacket as well my next pickup i actually got from the thrift in la which are these flare pants as soon as i walked into the thrift store these caught my eyes and as soon as i saw them i knew i had to get them and i'm not gonna lie these were in the girls sections but i'm a strong believer that girls have better clothes than men i said it I really like the coloring and pattern on these pants. I feel like they are simple and still pop out all at the same time. My next pickup is this vest. This is a reversible vest, but what did it for me was the back of this vest. The back of this vest is so different in my opinion. And I would like to give a shout out to my boy Brandon for telling me about this vest because I didn't even pick it up. He got it for me. He was going thrifting and he saw it. He sent me a video and was like, yo, you want this? I was like, send it my way. And he got it for me. So some shout outs to my boy, Brandon, you a real one. But like I said, this vest is reversible. So if you flip it inside out, you get a whole new pattern and design. All right, my next pickup is a very special pickup to me. And personally, I feel like this shirt is an iconic shirt in the underground fashion community, which is this LaRocca tank top that says, I'm not gonna say that word because my mom is home, but it says blank build strong bones. And I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Cardi wearing this shirt in like 2018, I believe, ever since I saw that picture, I wanted this shirt, I'm not gonna lie. I actually have a pretty cool story on the day I got this shirt. So that morning, me and Lassie were just talking about how we both wanted this shirt and was saying, man, I can't wait till we get this, right? And we just so happened to be walking on Melrose or Fairfax, I believe. And we saw a little store. We walked in, they had them and we had to cop, like it was no question. We chopped it up with one of the employees that we met at the New York store. Shout out to my boy, William, and yeah. My next pickup is this new age rock shirt by Hakishi. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name. When I wear this shirt, I feel just like the name of the shirt, a new age rock star. Like how could you not feel like a rock star in this t-shirt? It got that skin fit with the cut off sleeves, with the crop look and it's tie dye, like come on now. And honestly, I got this shirt because I thought the coloring was so unique and different. As you can see by my wardrobe, I stayed towards neutral colors. So I wanted to get this to really test my creativity and get out my comfort zone and add more colors into my collection. My next pickup are these black and white striped Japanese brand pants. Now shout out to my boy Lover Brody for sending these my way. Now these pants are crazy because they're so simple but look really nice. I love the subtle hints of distressing on both of the knees. These pants are a perfect fit. Like these pants fit me so well. That's why I really love them. I'm telling you, all a pant need to do is fit me well and I instantly fall in love and I will not stop wearing them. Next, we have these snake pants from Handmade Russ. And I'm not gonna lie, I love these pants, but I got a bone to pick with them. Fun fact, I'm colorblind. So when I ordered these pants, I didn't know they were pink. I swore these were a tan pair of pants until we got in LA. And someone asked me, why did I buy a pair of pink pants? And my heart shattered when I realized they was pink. Is it an L on my part? No, because I still love these pants. And honestly, it helped out in the long run. Cause just like what I was saying with the last piece, I'm trying to add more color to my collection. So this actually ended up working out perfect. As for the actual pant, I love the design of them. 
like the material plus the color is crazy even though i didn't know what the color was so how are you going to talk about the color anywho as i was saying these pants are great i love them they do fit me a little bit big which i don't like but besides that these are a perfect pair of pants in my opinion all right we have some more handmade rests and we have this long sleeve tee I'm not going to lie, this t-shirt is one of my favorite t-shirts I didn't picked up in a very long time. Like, the last year or so, this is my favorite shirt. I really love the graphic on this shirt. I also like how the sleeves are really long on this shirt because it gives it a whole new look. Next, we have this trench coat or raincoat. I don't know what you'll call it. But anywho, we have this coat. I ended up picking this coat up from my boy Josh again. And I haven't got a chance to style this coat. I got this coat in a size large for that oversized look because I'm really trying to test myself and get out my comfort zone and see what I can do with more oversized and baggier pieces. And I can't wait to see what I do with this one. All right, next we have a pair of Japanese denim. And what really sold these pants for me was the wash. Like just look at the wash of these pants and not tell me it's perfect. And the subtle hints of distressing complements the wash so perfect. I really like how the distressing on these pants are off-white color because in my opinion, it gives these pants a more vintage vibe to them. And come on now, y'all already know I'm rocking with the patches on these jeans. Like the patches on these go crazy. I also like what they did to the bottom of the pants because with this design going down the legs, and makes the pants sit on the shoe and give it a really different look. They say you save the best for last. So my last pickup is my favorite, which is this black leather jacket I got from Splitty Costa. Now, just look at this jacket. Just look at it. You know this jacket is beautiful. You know it, bruh. The design of this jacket is so unique. I've never seen a jacket look like this, especially with the shape of it. What did it for me with this jacket is the collar because it's so unique. You can style this collar in so many different ways, which is crazy in my opinion. All right, those are all my pickups. If you made it this far, thank you for watching the full video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my socials so you can see how I end up styling these pieces. All those links will be in the description below. I'm out. Peace. Call me Mr. Put It On. Yo, bitch, come my way. In my room, she taking off a thong. Ride me like a whale. Couldn't let that bitch that do me wrong. Had to play it safe.